Hi guys, so now we're building a recipe book. A recipe book for one or two people that's based on calorie counted meals. And the best way to lose weight, and everybody's mad about losing weight, including me, is don't go over 800 calories a day for as long as you can possibly last out. And this book will help you do just that because each meal is calorie counted to a specific um, number of calories. And we're using Affinity Publisher on the iPad to do this. So let me show you a couple of things I've got going. You'll need two files. This one here, let me squeeze that in a little bit. This is the front and back cover. And you can see the front and back cover there quite easily. There we go. That's all there is to it. One page and it's double the width. And I'm using a KDP template. You just download the template from KDP. It's in the background there. Now, let me see. There's the background. And we'll blank all those others out. Now, of course, I've got the opacity of that reduced considerably, so it doesn't overpower everything. And you can see the boundaries. And that's all you need to be able to do with that one. Now, there's a white or grey background, which I'll keep out of there. Now, there's a front cover image. There's some text, my name at the bottom and some text at the top. You'll put a barcode on the left and some other stuff on the left there. And you can certainly have a cover of whatever sort of cover you like and whatever book you like. But we're going to use um, chat GPT to generate a lot of the text for this. Now be careful with chat GPT because KDP, if they think your entire book has just been produced by chat GPT, you'll probably be rejected. Um, and they're actually tightening up on that a lot more lately. But more on that lately. Now, what I forgot to mention, see that cover photo there? Generated by artificial intelligence. That's not a real photo. It's not copyrighted. Very good. And it's generated by the program called Midjourney, which we won't go into here, and I've mentioned that in, in other videos that I've done recently. It's all over the internet. If you haven't come across Midjourney yet, you're still asleep in bed. Okay, now there we go. There's the inside front cover. Now this is a this is something worth remembering with KDP. The front inside cover of your book doesn't have to have a graphic on it, but it certainly has to be the same name as the front cover of the cover page that you send up to KDP. That's all there is to that. Now, this book here that I started out, you can see when I created the, the pages, we've got way more there than I need, 143. Now, what I'm going to have to do is redo the cover because I just took a wild guess that the cover was 60 pages thick, but obviously it's going to be way more than that. But that's all right because it's, it's, uh, because it's a template. I've got all the graphics there. I can just put the new template below it. And what that will mean is it will have a slightly wider spine. So I'll leave the spine generation to last. Or you can do the whole lot. When you put the new... Um, the new template behind everything, you just adjust it to fit the new template. Really easy. Now, see that image we've got in there? There we go. That's an image that I've done on Mid Journey. Really easy. Now, I'm not going into using how Mid Journey's um, produced, but now, in all the pages here, in every page I've got in this thing, you can see there's a grey background. Now, that's done, whoops, sorry, in the Masters. I've put a grey background. I've got guides there. Now, that's the centre of those pages. Page left and page right. It's not the centre between the margins. It's the centre of the page. I may or may not put centre between the margins, depending on what I'm doing with the images. Some images I want in there, some I won't. So let's not get too much into that, but I've got the grey background there because when you're putting an image in there, it helps if you've got that on, 
which is your snapping, you see. So I've enabled snapping. And of course you get the red and the green lines when snapping's on, so you can easily place things. So let's go back to the pages. There's page one. Now, page two. Am I going to put something on page two? Mm, I may do, and I'll show you how I do it. Select the picture frame rectangle. Pull out a rectangle. Now, I want the, I want the images within the margins, not outside the margins. I don't want it covering the whole page. It does look very nice, and that's why I've got the bleed. If I was going to do this and worry about the bleed, I'll show you, then I would pull that right out to the bleed line, right into the groove of the margin, and you can see it there, out to the bleed line. Now that image will take over the whole page, there'll be no white border, and, and it'll go there. Now let me go find... Oops, I keep forgetting the difference between this and the desktop version. The desktop version, place is an option on the top menu. On the iPad, place is there. It's that one down there. And I'm going to place an image from Photos. I just love Apple Photos. Now, there's these images here you can see, apart from that just in helmet panny is one have all been generated by let me get rid of that one oh, cancel no because i'm placing aren't i what i'm going to do is select this one now the aspect ratio of that first one is four by five so it'll fit neatly in there now how nice is that that's a royalty-free image generated by, by uh, Mid Journey, and that's all we need for that one. And that's got the image placed in there. Do I want text? I don't know that I'll put text on there because that's the inside. It's only page two and three. Let's have a look at page three. Now there's the text on page three. It's, it's like a, an introduction, introducing the ultimate guide to healthy eating. Now, that's in a text box. Frame text in there. Now, what I'll probably do is move that down, uh, put some words like introduction and things like that in it. And that's what we'll do with that one. And that's all we've got in there. Now, what's the text I've got in there? Book Antiqua. It's regular 12 point. Just remember, it's very small on the iPad, but when you get it to a real size book, 12 point Book Antiqua, which is easy to read. And that's, that's it for this We'll go back to that. Let's pull it down to a reasonable size again. I like working with it so I can see the whole page on the page. Now, let's just close that down for a moment. Save it. Always save your work every time you're closing that down. Now, let's go have a look at Mid Journey, which runs on... I've got it running on the Discord, my own Discord server. And there's some... Um, images I've just created, kitchen utensils, clip art style graphics, um, the dash dash AR is aspect ratio 4 to 5 and it's version 5 default. There's some square images, there's some more kitchen images. So there's a fair bit of preparation you've got to do to get the correct images right. Um, there's some other images I was generating for something else. We don't need to worry about those.
bit of dystopian, a dystopian view of things. A book I'm writing, I need some characters for it. There's my little dog. And cartoon characters. If you're working with cartoons, comic strips are very much fun. Okay, now you can see how easy, let me scroll quickly right back down the bottom, right back down, sorry about blurring your vision there, but that's graphics we're creating for the recipe book. Now the other thing we've got is, now this is the chat. Select a message now. Let's give you a recipe. R E C E P I E. That's not spelt right, is it? Recipe. Recipe for two people for a cottage pie. Now, if you're going to make a recipe book, that's how easy as it is. You'll watch this. Here's a recipe for a delicious cottage pie that serves two people. lists all the ingredients and then gives you the instructions. Look at that. Lovely ingredients. Now if you want to reduce the calories in that, you add that to the prompt that I typed in. Create a recipe for a cottage pie with a maximum of 300 calories. Well, you've got to be reasonable about this. It's a cottage pie. It's pastry crust and lots of nice things in it. And there's your recipe. Too easy. Okay, we're going to edit that. Under 300... Under 300 calories. You'll see there's not a lot of difference, but there's just enough. And there it goes. How simple is that? And you simply copy and paste that into... Let's see it. Oh, there we go. 290 calories. Enjoy a healthy and delicious cottage pie. You then copy that back into your your um, recipe book. Let's see, where's our recipe? There we go. Here's a creamy mushroom soup recipe, under 100 calories for two people. And the ingredients, etc. Now, it's got that big grey background behind it. Let me go to Masters. Go back to Pages. There's our Pages. Makes them a whole lot easier to read, doesn't it? Under 100 calories, here's a recipe for almond and raisin chocolate pennings. That's under 100 calories for two servings. Now, of course, you can't just put stuff that in there and plonk it into KDP. You've got to make it look like it's your own work. And putting some graphics in there will do just that. So I'll put some graphics on that page. 
I'll put some graphics on that page and so on. You can see they're under 100 calories. And I've got all the images for that, all nicely saved up, already prepared, and they're in their own folder. That's really all there is to it. The book itself is not 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 difficult. And in fact, I got the I got both the templates from KDP, the cover template and the internal template, and they match up perfectly with my document, which is document setup. You can see that there. There it all is. Look at that. 7.5 inch by 9.25 inch recipe book. That's my own. Let's cancel that. Let's go back there. Just save that in case I've done anything to it. And that's all there is to it. Isn't that fun? Now then, moving right along, you can see here we've got the front page and I've I've moved the graphic off that. I might put it back on there. But we've got a table of contents and as I scroll up here, we start with the introduction again and some more introduction, a story about it. Mediterranean style diet and what it is and we begin with our recipes and we start with under 100 calories and that's oops oh, I moved that image it's very sensitive isn't it it's a very small iPad too it's an iPad mini 6 I remind you but you can see as we scroll through there how it's all put together and how I've been building it and it goes right down to how many pages have I got? Oh, well, I haven't got. That's as far as I've got with the images so far. And that's all right. I know where they are. The under 300 calorie recipes. So the under 300 calorie images will be in that directory. And we go right through and then I'll um, put all that together. And you can see that it's very easily done. Pages, there's masters. And the masters have sections and the masters are where the page numbers will appear. Oh, did it again. Touch that. You can't touch that with the pencil, can you? Okay, now let me get right up here so... I'm not in any dangerous territory, but when I get to the masters, that's where I can put the page numbers down the bottom here. And that, of course, will then affect the index. At the moment, the index is based on the existing default page numbers, and that's all right too. I could probably leave it like that if I wanted to. It's not terribly important because people with recipe books tend to flick through them anyway. But I want to put the page numbers on the pages. Now, obviously, I don't want page one there. Well, if you're looking for page one in the index, what we've got there, we've got under 100 calories starts on page 12, 4, 5, 6, 7, page 12. And that's all right. So the index might be okay where it is. And if I just leave the page numbers on there, it'll be fine. But of course, what I don't want to happen is that I don't want page numbers showing up on that page there or those pages there or the index pages. So I will start the section at page 12. That will be the first page, if you like, even if, it, even if I leave it numbered page 12. But I can restart numbering at page 1. Am I not getting too complex there? I hope not. There we go. Okay, well, that's about it. And I'll leave it at that. Thanks very much. I hope you get some information out of this. And if you don't, please go to my community page and ask. Send me a direct message on, on um, any one of the social media things that I'm connected to. I'm here to help.